Hey guys, what's up? It's Biscuit Before Reviews. It's been a little while since I've uploaded anything, and uh, I figured I'd do another one of these videos. My favorite blank movie uh, series that I've kind of been doing, where I just kind of talk a little bit about a movie I really like. Um, and I have to come up with a, a way to describe it. In some ways, it's really easy. Like my like the first one of these videos where I covered Santa Sangre, which is my favorite Mexican horror film. Or when I covered uh, Belladon of Sadness, which is my favorite anime film. Uh, today, I want to talk about my favorite American animated movie. Which is a independent animated comedy drama film from director Don Hertzfeld called It's Such a Beautiful Day. It's Such a Beautiful Day is essentially a about 60-ish minute long um, feature film, the feature debut of Don Hertzfeld, which is essentially just a trilogy of short films that he had created over the course of, I think, almost 10 years, and then basically just put them together as a film. Um, The three shorts consist of uh, Everything Will Be Okay, I'm So Proud of You, and It's Such a Beautiful Day. Uh, it's Such a Beautiful Day is a very interesting little film. Uh, but I guess I should start from the beginning of my relationship with this film. I remember when I was in high school, I was the movie guy, you know. I was the one people would talk to about movies with. And... Most of the time when I say people talk to me about movies, I would say the three people that liked me talked to me about movies, and I would mostly just talk people's faces off about various movies, usually stuff that, that was that, that at the time I would consider my favorites that were very, very edgy and uh, just unpleasant and disturbing picks. Don't get me wrong, you know, I still like some of those movies, but... Usually it wasn't the most pleasant topic of conversation, but either way, I remember in high school, I was in art class, and a friend of mine who I wouldn't say I'm super close with even to this day, um, but a friend of mine, a mutual friend, uh, essentially told me, like, hey, there's this movie on Netflix you have to watch called It's Such a Beautiful Day, you should really, really watch it. And I was immediately interested because I saw it was um, directed by Don Hertzfeld, who uh, I like. I, I had seen a few of his short films like Genre and uh, Rejected and Billy's Balloon. Um, and I, I, I thought, man, these are like really interesting, you know, little, little like existential kind of comedic uh, shorts. And. This friend of mine, which I never really talked to about movies, felt the need to recommend this to me, I guess, because I was the movie guy and I'd never seen it. So, going in, I didn't expect to find a movie that would speak to me so clearly, um, and a film that I would end up watching over and over and over again, over about 20 times uh, in the years following. And a, f a film that would touch my soul and explore my own fears of not being good enough or the feeling that I'm insignificant in the grand scheme of things. But this movie is exactly that and so much more. My appreciation and love for this film is immense enough to warrant me getting a tattoo of the main character, Bill, on my forearm. Um, which I had that done a couple months ago. The film was about Bill, who is suffering from some kind of recent incident, whether it is uh, an illness, whether it is recovering from cancer or a mental breakdown or a stay at a hospital. It is completely unknown to the viewer. Um... All of this while he is sort of losing grip on reality. The film is extremely vague about what's going on with Bill, and I think that that's very intentional to make the film all the more relatable, because 
we've all been in weird transitional periods like this where everything is changing so quickly after something big happens to us that that, that change that, that that may or may not change our entire perspective on life and if there's anything that I would say about it's such a beautiful day is that is it, it is an extremely funny and sad uh, and relatable existential breakdown for about an hour I remember a friend of mine who is a really into movies uh, I had been recommending this film to her for a very very long time and she was kind of afraid to not necessarily afraid to watch it but she was a little apprehensive about watching it um, Mainly, I think, because she said something along the lines of, like, she didn't know she would relate to it as much as uh, me or another one of my friends who has seen this film uh, would. And I basically just straight up explained, like, this film is extremely relatable and it does not necessarily confine to... Uh, gender or age or anything like that um, or race or experience I feel like almost everybody to an extent can relate to it such a beautiful day and that's why I think that this film is required viewing for people with you know various problems I think that anybody with depression or anxiety or existential fears um, should watch It's Such a Beautiful Day because it's equally the most frighteningly realistic and relatable and existentially disturbing animated film ever made, but it's simultaneously this very beautifully uplifting film about, essentially about how no matter how long it takes you, you have a chance to make your life better and you have a chance to do great things no matter how far along in life you are, no matter what has happened to you. At least that's how I feel about It's Such a Beautiful Day. There isn't a single flaw in this movie. Not one. And I think that's because of its style and just overall, every, it's just everything with the film fits it so well. Like, sure... There's only one major voice actor for the entire film, but that's not really a flaw you can point out for this film, because it's that's, that's the way it, it should be. Um, this is one of the few movies that I can watch over and over and over again, and it has the same exact effect on me. I end up crying. I... I remember when I was still in high school when I saw this film, and I didn't relate to it as much, and I, I thought it was a really great movie, but it, it didn't make me cry. It didn't really get to me. Revisiting the film years after the fact in my 20s, which is where I had seen it the most, I think in the last two or three years I've watched it such a beautiful day, ab about almost... 18, maybe maybe like 15, 16, 17 times in the last three years I've watched this film. And it, it, it just gets to me every time. It's a beautifully put together film uh, with minimalistic hand-drawn animation and the whole thing flows very much like poetry. And it's edited in a way that I can only describe as... A visual representation of anxiety. <laughs> the movie just... <laughs> it works so well, and it doesn't let up or stop. Um, other than to do so here and there for the sake of absurdity or just to be uh, somber. The film's tone constantly shifts, but it's just done so well. Going from... A scene about strangling a rock in a fit of religious hysterics to smothering an illegitimate newborn child minutes apart from one another. It's Such a Beautiful Day is one of the saddest and funniest and most beautiful, not just dark comedies, 
not just animated movies, but movies in general. It is 100% a movie I think everybody should see without a doubt. And with that, I only really have one thing to say, and that's, Don, why would you fucking do this to me, man? I've got enough going on. Oh, but that's it. That's, that's the, that's the one, that's the video for now. That's, um, another one down the pipes. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying anymore, man. Either way, this is Biscuitable Horror Reviews, signing off. Hopefully, uh, I'll have a review of something. Or else coming down the pipes within the next week or two, or maybe I'll have something more interesting, something a little bigger coming down the pipes. There is one project that I am uh, a part of that uh, I'm really looking forward to sharing with you guys. I just can't share it just yet, but when I am able to share the details on that, I will gladly do that. Anyway, guys. This is Biscuit Horror Reviews. I know I already said it, but I'm signing off. <laughs> Peace.